so we're going to do the Long Nose Lincoln. This is a really kind of funky looking plane. Really interesting how it had a really long nose and shape. It was one of the planes that really captivated me thinking about what planes we could design for the RAF Centenary. It has landing gear and it has this really interesting nose that you can experiment with your throws having it a spoon bill so cupped upwards or you can invert it and have it popping down seeing how well each of those two options fly. So something you can experiment and play around with. So let's get into it, folding the long nose Lincoln. First we want to fold in half lengthways and unfurl. Now we're going to fold the corners in but we're going to make sure we have a gap of around 17 mil or so at the top of the page. We're going to fold a small band about six millimeters in towards the bottom. Now we're going to take this top edge and we're going to fold it inwards. We're going to make sure it meets that point in the middle. But we're going to roll it out so that there's a gap of about 17 mil at the bottom of the page. So once we've done one side, sometimes it's handy just to remake that fold so that you can flip the page over and ensure that you're just matching what you've done on the first side. So that's what I'm doing now. I've flipped it back over, I've folded the sheet in half. I'm going to take it back out to a flat position, opened out on the page in front of me, and you'll see that now I've created that perfectly symmetrical, even shape. The next step is to fold this top end down to the bottom of the page, and then fold it back up. I think the dimension is 27 millimetres. But you can look that up on the airforce.gov.au webpage. All the steps are there for the Avro or GAF long nose Lincoln. So you'll have this shape here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make what's called an open pop and squash fold where we lift the corner edge of this wing up, the front nose of the plane, and you'll see that that pulls the top around. So essentially what we're doing is we're making a fold here and a fold here. So we're doing two folds at once. So once we've done that side, again, we're just going to match what's happening on the other side. Really important to keep things as symmetrical and as even as you can so you have a well-balanced plane. Now we're going to do the same thing again to make the landing gear. So we're going to wiggle our finger under here and we're going to make that crease on the inside. We're going to make that point and you'll notice that that reveals this crease that was previously at this top edge. We're going to line up that crease so that it runs parallel with the center fuselage. Once we've got that there you can squash it down and fold it out knowing that you've got a really nice bit of landing gear sorted. We're going to fold, push our finger in underneath to try and pop that open. We're going to get this front leading edge and we're going to line it up with that fold that we've just created underneath, making sure it runs down or parallel like train tracks, running parallel with that center fuselage. Again, we're going to open that out so that we have our landing gear popped open. Now we're going to fold in half along that center crease that we've already made and you'll see that those landing gears pointing on either side. Pretty nice. Now we're going to set the angle of attack. So if I grab a ruler, I can kind of mark visually where I'm going to get things going. So when we fold this one down, you've got to make sure that you don't go right to the nose this time. We're going to, to make that popping nose, we've got to make sure our fold finishes before the end of the sheet of paper. So I like to start it at the very front of the page to start with and then flick my my wings up higher at the back. Once I've done one wing, I've got to make sure for this plane I open it back out and I turn it over so that I can see that crease when I'm bringing this wing over to the other side. So looking really carefully along that crease that you've made with your second wing, line it up and then make that fold. Once you've done both wings, open it back out and you'll notice that you have this nice little spoon appearing at the front of your nose for the long nose Lincoln. So experiment with a few throws, try and see if it flies well with the spoon or invert the nose so that it points down. When you do that, 
you'll find that you probably should experiment with more or less elevators. But also remember, lift those wings up to create that dihedral angle as best you can. So there it is, the long nose Avro or Gaff Lincoln that the RAF used to operate.